Today on Fat Man Makes, we'll discuss 3D printer extruder issues, a couple extruders that you can buy for an upgrade, and your best option, how to get a bulletproof extruder for less than $10. One of the most common things that I hear from a new 3D printer owner is, I upgraded to the red extruder. What they don't understand is, this isn't really an upgrade. This red extruder is almost identical to the Creality extruder. It has the same shortcomings. If you read through the Facebook posts, you'll see a lot of complaints about under extrusion issues or layers that just don't look right. Most of this is caused by this extruder. In this video series, we'll cover what alternatives we have to this standard extruder. Now I'll concentrate on the Ender 3 extruder because that's one of the more popular printers that's out there today, but this should apply to the majority of Bowden setups that are out there. I really don't see this extruder as an upgrade. I mean, if you take a look at it here, it's basically the same design and it has the same flaws. The spring is weak, uh, the filament it skips on it and you have under extrusion. It's not an upgrade, it's just a copy of the existing one. Yeah, it's made out of aluminum, so it might be a little more rigid, but it still wears. And really the wearing of the hole isn't the issue of the extruder itself. That's just the issue of the filament path and a poor design. What I would consider to be the first real extruder upgrade at a bare minimum would be this. The Simi CNC Easy R Extruder. This is your first viable low cost option for an extruder. If you're going to throw 10 or $20 at an extruder, don't buy the red one. It's really not worth it. Uh, your best bet is to put a little extra money in and by the CME CNC Easy R extruder. All the reviews, everybody that's tried it, this extruder works extremely well. It's got all the options you want. It's got the, the knob on the top so you can feed the filament in and out. Uh, and then it has the, the red lever that lets you disengage the gear so you can pull the filament out of the Bowden tube or free feed it in if you would like um, this is really your your best first option for an extruder upgrade your next option on an extruder is this the Bontech for ninety dollars now that's a steep price for an extruder but this is the ultimate extruder very well made you definitely will not have any issues if you go with the Bontech. Everybody recommends it, but again, it's $90. That's a steep price just for an extruder, and there are alternatives out there. Let's take a look at one of those options now. And here it is, the Greg's Wade extruder. This is a modified Bowden version that was done by Andrew BCN in 2015. The Greg Wade's extruder itself is a very reliable design. If you look at the credits in the SCAD files, you'll see that Joseph Prusha was a contributor to this design. This extruder build is relatively simple, although there are a couple gotchas out there that you need to look out for. And the very first gotcha is don't click the link and download the STL files and print what's listed there. Those STL files will probably not work for you at all. You'll have all kinds of issues. You'll get frustrated and say, oh, well, this is a crappy design. It doesn't work correctly. And that's really not the case. The problem is that the STL files that are provided here were designed for the original author's printer and they just might not work with your setup. So your best bet is to 
generate your own files with your own settings and then that'll guarantee that all the pieces fit correctly all your hardware fits in the printed parts without any issues so in this video series I'll show you how to generate your own STL files for a Wade's extruder that will fit your machine I will show you how to make the hob to bolt which is another area where some people have difficulties so this complete build can be done with less than ten dollars worth of hardware and in my opinion it's the cheapest extruder upgrade that you can do and besides we're all makers here wouldn't we rather make a really good extruder than buy one this video series will be a complete build guide starting with the generation of the files the tweaking of the parameters to printing out the STLs creating the hob bolt and installing it on in Ender 3 then we'll do a test print and take a look at the quality of the prints that come out of this extruder this is going to be a really fun build series so I hope you all stick around and watch the next couple videos on how to build this Greg's Wade extruder. Do me a favor, click the subscribe button, check the bell so you don't miss the next installment 